Thanks for clicking play, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna be painting my lovely walls. Another part of my Ford Transit Mark 7 minibus camper van conversion series. Now hopefully this should be quite straightforward, but I'm sure I'll find a way to mess it up as I usually do. Before I start painting though, I've gotta do some prep work. Well, I've gotta do some repairs. When I was doing my cladding, I was putting screws directly in the center and because I didn't paint it straight away, they started bowing around that center point. So I went through every screw section and went from a single middle screw to two outside screws to keep all the wood straight. But of course, this has left a hole and in some cases a little ring. And because I was redoing it, I started drawing lines to make sure they were perfectly straight, so I've got to remove them. So yeah, got to do that first. Well, that kind of worked, so I guess it's time for a time lapse. Time for a time lapse. Time for a time lapse. actually really hard work and it's so frustrating because if I'd done it properly I wouldn't be doing this and what's even worse is I've still got to do the ceiling what am I even doing I'm gonna be painting the ceiling white so I don't need to sand the holes, I can just put filler in them and paint over everything. But I do need to give them a little sand to make sure the filler goes in properly. One really good thing about this though, because I've messed up and had to cover all these holes, I ended up using wood filler in between the gaps on the, the beams where they meet up, so it might end up looking better because of this mistake I made. Fingers crossed, eh? All holes are now filled, sanded, gone over with Hoover as well, cleaned out the van, let the painting commence! Now reach the first tricky section, which is the chrome screw holder thingies. Um, I like them being chrome. I spent a bit more money on them being chrome, so they're gonna stay chrome. But that means I've got to slightly remove them and paint underneath. done thanks for watching the video i'm just kidding although i wish i could just leave it there i hate painting this was just the undercoat it was an absolute pain i don't think i'm going to be able to lift my arm tomorrow because just holding it up like that was hard 
I didn't use masking tape in the corners because those sections are going to get covered over eventually. didn't use a roller because I'm just bad with a roller, it just flicks paint everywhere. But hopefully when I apply the gloss tomorrow, if I can lift my arm, uh, it'll look nice and pretty and good. I am going to try and get a coat of varnish on the walls as well, but the light's going down so I might not film that, I don't know yet, we'll see. Normally I don't care when I'm painting, I just put the gloss on, one coat, leave it, job done. But I'm really glad I went for the undercoat because I thought I was applying it quite liberally and it has just sucked the paint up. Like, it, it almost looks like there's nothing there. that's over my arm is killing I had a big accident mountain biking at a race in France once so I actually have pins in my shoulder and it's been clicking so much because of this find that video I'll put it in the, the top corner where uh, ever it goes but at least it's finally done or so I thought because I think I'm gonna have to give it a second coat I'm at least gonna have to fill in like some of the little spaces between the wood but I can't stop yet because I've still got another wall to varnish so let's crack on with that before my arm stops working completely because I want to get this done this weekend let's go If you've made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back so hard that you break your own arm because that was one of the most boring videos I've ever done. It was literally watching paint dry. But the aim of these videos has always been for me to film and document every stage of the process. So I've got something to look back on in the future. And you know, it shows how much work actually goes into one of these things if you're following it all the way through. And if you are, I have a little bit of a break. There's a lot of things going on. The van is still continuing, even though it's got a clutch problem at the moment. But yeah, I will carry on doing it. I've got all the footage and it's just edited. So yeah, thanks for watching this far. I doubt it's going to be helpful for anyone at all. Apart from the fact that I did an undercoat and then two coats of gloss. And it's made some of the wood actually go like slightly furry, like the, the moisture in it has made it rise up and stop being smooth so I am gonna have to actually re-sand the cladding and then reapply paint in some areas which is an absolute pain but I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Anyway, uh thanks for watching. I hope they'll get a new video out very soon. Peace!